So now that we've set up the AWS CLI correctly, it is time for us to practice and see how it works. So for this, we'll use as an example, the S3 CLI. So I'll tap AWS S3 CLI on Google, and basically it will give me all the references of how I can use the CLI. So there's a bunch of comments such as CP, MV, remove, MB, RM, LS. There's a lot of them actually, okay? So let's go ahead and practice, but you can find the available comments all right here and click on one. Let's click on LS, for example. LS is to list S3 objects and common prefixes under a prefix for all the three buckets. So for this, we can always go to the example and see how it works. The number one command they suggest us to do is SWS S3 LS. And this lists all your buckets in your AWS S3. As you can see, I have two buckets. Now we can list the content of one bucket in particular. So we can do address LS and then give the S3 URL of the bucket of Stefan. Click enter. And as you can see now, within my bucket, I have all these files, beach.jpg, coffee.jpg, index.html. So using this command, it seems like we're able to do all bunch of stuff in uh, S3. We can always play and maybe download a file. So let's go back and we'll do a copy. So copy allows you to basically copy a local file or S3 objects to another location locally or in S3. So basically from your computer to S3 or from S3 to your computer. So let's have a look at how the examples work, obviously. As you can see, there's always a lot of options happening. So something we can do is AWS S3 CP minus minus help. And basically when you use a help command, oh, you just don't put minus minus, you just put AWS S3 CP help. This will give you a bunch of documentation that you can read directly in your command line. This documentation is the exact same that you can see on the website on the left hand side. When you're ready to quit, just type Q. Okay, so now let's use the command AWS S3. So we'll basically copy a file from S3 from the bucket of Stefan. And we had a coffee.jpg file that I really liked. And we have to copy it locally. So we'll say coffee.jpg. Press enter. As you can see, my file has been downloaded. So if I do LL, I can see that I have my coffee.jpg file here. I can do LS, so it's just a little bit clearer. You know, there's a lot of AWS commands you can try, especially for S3. Another one that's pretty common is MB for make a bucket. And so you can basically create a bucket on the fly. So let's just do an example, AWS S3, MB S3, and I'll just type some random stuff right here, just so I know it's no one will have that bucket name before. And the make buckets succeeded. So now if I do AWS S3 LS, we should be seeing three buckets. And alternatively, if I wanted to remove that bucket, there will be a RB command. And RB is to delete an empty S3 bucket. So again, just the example right here, I will do AWS S3 RB and the URI of my S3 bucket, which I will just copy here for simplicity's sake. Press enter, and now my bucket is gone. If I do LS again, we can see that my bucket is gone. So there's a lot of commands you can play with for the AWS CLI. There's not just S3. I mean, there is all the possible uh, services of AWS you can get. So as you can see, all the available services are right here. I mean, there is a lot of them. Okay, EC2, auto scaling. I mean, everything in AWS you can interact with with a CLI. But S3 is quite a popular one. And in the next lecture, we'll also explore some other CLI commands. But that's it just to get a small practice on the CLI. Obviously, if the CLI wasn't configured correctly, you would get some errors. But overall, for me, it seems like it's been configured correctly and I don't get any errors. I hope you get the same. That's just for a little taster on the CLI. I will see you in the next lecture.